when I was thinking about the physics behind a fountain. And it turns out that fountains just need a push. They just need pressure, something behind it, to push that water up so we get this beautiful fountain. So I was thinking, once again, how could we make a fountain using a balloon? So let's try it out. So I have just an ordinary bottle. I'm going to stick a balloon inside. I'm going to cover the top of it. Yeah, you get close. <laughs> just like that. So now I'm going to try to blow up the balloon. What happens? Why Even is it though large? this water bottle looks empty, it turns out that it is full of air. And the air can't go anywhere. So what I did is I poked a little hole in the bottom, just a tiny, tiny little hole here, so that as I blow up the balloon, air can leave the bottle so that the balloon actually has some space. So let's try it again. Uh. There we go. Wow. But we don't have a water balloon yet. This is all about water balloons. So let's add some water. So I'm going <laughs> to fill this up with some water. Woo. Should do this over my bowl. So it's nice and full. I have a cap somewhere. Oh, the cap. Over here. I'm going to cap it. And remember, all we need to make a fountain is what? Pressure. Pressure, a push. So this tiny little hole that's in the bottom, as soon as I take my finger off of it, air is going to be able to escape or push into that, inside that bottle. And all that air that's moving in the bottle is going to push on the balloon and make a fountain. <laughs> you could take some pictures by it as like a, a souvenir. <laughs> so that is the physics of balloons and water balloons. Thank you.